Hello and welcome my beautiful Pisces, my mermaids, mermen and sea sponges of the sea, my fellow Pisces. This is Brenda and this is your Pisces daily vibe from your guide's message for February the 2nd. And guess what? It's Groundhog Day today and he did not see his shadow. So that means we're going to have an early spring if we can believe that. Okay, let's see what we have here, my fellow Pisces. Coming in with our first card, we have the beautiful card of abundance. Uh, This is really looking like a good read for us today. And today's a day where we need to take advantage of the abundance that's all around us. Possibly, and uh, you know, and there could be a possibility of opportunities that are coming our way and they're all around us as well. We need to be open and responsive to the abundance around us because there is enough for everyone. And I love this card. So our mantra today is I am abundant and I am surrounded by beautiful opportunities. Now these can be opportunities that have to do with the material part of our lives, our jobs, careers, our businesses. This can be in relationships, whether they're platonic or they're romantic. Uh, This could be in time, effort, support coming our way today. All of these beautiful things and maybe even good health. So we have to include that spiritual, mental, physical, Uh, and emotional good abundance as well today. So Pisces, it looks like we have a fabulous day today. Coming in below that, what do we get? We get the Four of Wands. Well, the Four of Wands, as we know, is that beautiful card of celebration. So being able to move forward today and being happy and elated and, you know, knowing that Uh, you know, we're going to see something come in for us. We've worked hard and now we're going to see the rewards for it. And it comes in the form of abundance in contentment, peace and abundance. The freedom our success has afforded us provides deep feelings of satisfaction and we're safely navigating our way through the obstacles to a place where we can feel proud. Even because it shows the four, the four wands of the home here, the tent, it says matters at home are going to be rewarding too. And someone may be getting married or planning to move in. Uh, maybe a new partner is coming into the equation for some of you. Peace and harmony have been established here. And now we can seek stability and commitment. It's a milestone for us. It's an event in our career, perhaps. It's successfully completing a project today. We need to sit back and count our blessings and feel this wonderful feeling. For others, this could be an engagement, a proposal, a marriage, or a honeymoon, or maybe even being invited to one of these beautiful events uh, in the near future. So this is going to be an extremely wonderful day of abundance coming in in very significant uh, ways and for it might not be money for one it might be love for one it might be you know uh, anything like that it might be a report you might be receiving um, you know uh, results from a test that you might have had done whether it was medical or it was scholastic so those abundant things come in and we need to sit back today and say wow I'm so grateful and I'm so lucky now the next card coming in is self love and we all know that we have to step up to the plate and look in the mirror and do self-reflection and like what we see we want we need to see the reflection coming back how we feel about ourselves and this is beautiful this this is all you know coming into us to let us know that we can enjoy self-love and it's radical self-love and it's necessary and it's empowerment and it starts from the inside of us out we should not compare ourselves ever to anybody else. We need to start our change with focus and love on ourselves. And our everyday mantra should be, I bring radical self-love to body, mind, and spirit. Sometimes we feel we're not enough. Sometimes we even, you know, we are even told we are not enough by our own voice, the voices of others or our culture, the people around us, the powers that be the universe sometimes, not smart enough, not pretty enough, not powerful enough, not talented enough, not good enough, or what we choose to do. Not ambitious enough, not experienced enough, not curvy enough, not thin enough, not glamorous enough, whatever the case is, not enough of a person. And as a result, all of this makes us not love ourselves enough. Then there's the opposite that we are too something, too tall, too short, too fat, too thin, too noticeable, too opinionated, right? Too much trouble. So just please stop. We need to put our blinkers on and breathe and be with ourselves and do that ritual. Speak to our inner selves. 
and allow ourselves to love ourselves in a beautiful, gentle, and, and caring way. Okay? We shouldn't com make comparisons either with ourselves and other people. So, you know, the main, the main stone that we need to gravitate to today is the rose quartz, the, color, the, the, the stone of love. So it's a day of self-reflection. It's a day of realizing that we need to step up and really initiate some really good vibes and energy towards ourselves so that today we can face any challenges knowing we're capable, we're enough, we have enough, and we can move forward towards these goals. Now, it's really ironic that we ended up with the moon card underneath that card because we know the moon, again, is us, the Pisces card, and it says everyone, you know, we know that everyone experiences times in their lives when they're afraid or insecure, and sometimes these fears are based on external factors. Uh, and we, you know, factors we can see and sometimes worries uh, stem from irrational or unreal concerns, okay? So in both cases, it's important to go within and listen to our intuition as to what to do next. And that is, again, knowing that we're enough and we can do this. Not get up in our head, not create the, the be dis, you know, uh, you know, create these illusions in our head that aren't real. Uh, thinking that we can't do something, that we're not good enough, that we're not capable of enough, that we're not strong enough. And that's not true. This card says we have those abilities to stop this. We need to ask our inner self about the source of our anxiety and trust our guidance is coming into us. The universe sent us this card because this is a time of powerful intuition and psychic abilities, tapping into that little inner voice of wisdom, tapping into the power of knowing with that gut feeling, knowing, you know, that it's a knowing. It personally is a knowing and a feeling, right? It's the greatest insights we have about ourselves right now. We need to embrace this and be self-aware of ourselves and overcome any past blocks that have held us back. We need to awaken to our truths about ourselves that we maybe have kept hidden and see our brilliant light. <clears throat> this is also the card we need to pay attention to our dreams right now. Um, you know, and not allow ourselves to get up and create illusions in our head that we can't continue to do things in a successful way. So, you know, you've always heard me say, you know, this is about finding secrets out in the background. This is about doing your research. This is about delving deep. To <clears throat> go deep. And maybe it's self-reflection that today we're going deep. We're going to think about ourselves and say, why am I putting myself down? Why am I thinking I can't do this today? Why am I thinking that I'm not successful? All of those thoughts because this moon comes out at the darkest time of our day and it illuminates everything in its path. So you're going to have light at the end of the tunnel and you will be able to go forward, my beautiful fellow Pisces. Beautiful. We're going to see abundance coming in and loving ourselves is part of that. Now, we've got the card change. So, uh, haven't you heard me talk about this? Yes, you have. You've been hearing me talk about constant change for us and our sign. P uh, Pisces particularly <clears throat> are going to see amazing change this year. And I know we're constantly doing this uh, because we want to renew ourselves and renew the energy around us so that when we're vibrating low, we can pick up that momentum. <clears throat> you know? change we need to accept it okay life is like the seasons it's all about change and we need to take advantage of change and energy coming ahead one of the greatest truths in life is that change is constant it's unavoidable and we can resist all we want but nothing truly stays the same it's better than to prepare and even direct change by setting intentions and building our personal power from the inside out right so it's like the seasons we have to accept it it happens and embrace it and, you know, here's the moon shining down on us, you know, and in this picture, clearing out the storm. Uh, there is great energy to be channeled in such time and to be focused towards riding change with joy and ease. Definitely embracing change, creating change, enjoying the change. We've got the Justice card coming in now with that. And the Justice card is that, you know, playing fair, the, the uh, you know, the playing field is is going to be fair now and this is about justice being issued here okay justice is served right so when we get this card it's all about moving forward in a new direction and it's a beautiful card right it's all about us going forward and realizing that justice is going to be waved in our favor so maybe some of you here 
Um, <clears throat> this is a change that you're going to be feeling uh, right now in your life. This is a change that you might be realizing that you need to have happen to you. So you're moving forward in this brand new direction. Um, you know, I think if there's a legal situation that some of you might be dealing with in the near future, you're going to find that there's going to be something here where compromise is going to come into the equation. Where both of you are going to end up with something that's definitely going to, uh, that's definitely going to make life better for you. Okay, you're going to be able to move forward. You're going to be able to uh, realize that we can't always have 100% of something that we've been fighting for and advocating for. And when it comes down to it, I think it's easier to, to have compromise and walk away and hold your head high at that point. So I do think that, you know, justice will be served. Sometimes it's waived in our favor when this card shows up. But that just means that you will be content with what you receive. So it's going to be abundant. It's going to be a beautiful day of self-love. And there's going to be change coming in too. Well, celebrate. Celebrate every part of it, my beautiful Pisces. And know that I send you lots of love and many blessings today. And I'll see you soon.